Hello guys, welcome to a new weekly vlog. I'm currently stood in the car park and there are cars like driving around, driving past me. And you all think I am some kind of a freak. But it's new weekly vlog time. It's actually Tuesday. It was bank holiday Monday yesterday, but I was working so I kind of just didn't film anything. Um, hopefully by now it's not June. Hopefully I've caught up with the vlogs. Probably is June. I'm really sorry that they are so, so flipping delayed. Um, I've been shopping today. I came to, I came with Matt, he had the exam, so I've just gone shopping instead whilst he's in his exam. And I've just seen his bus pull up, I think. I think I've just seen his bus pull up, so he should be here any minute to let me in his car because I'm meant to take skis. But I forgot. So, I didn't buy anything that interesting. I bought my dad a present. I bought some bikini bottoms from Hollister and I wanted to buy the top as well, but I couldn't get the top because they didn't have my size. So I tried on like the size above and the size below. Um, and neither of them fit, so I know what size I am. I'm gonna go home and order it online. And yeah. Also bought some new bras. <laughs> Nothing really interesting. Um, just plain ones because I accidentally died. Well, I accidentally died. My mum accidentally died. Mine, like, great. So, and Matt's car's just unlocked, so I think he's here. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, You're soaking wet. Oh my word. I've only got little buns. <laughs> Oh, I don't like those. She's like, I've got anything. She's gonna, she's gonna fall over again. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, Tilly's. <laughs> Everyone's playing. What's everyone playing at? Everyone's tired now. You done? No, you're going to try and wind your mum up. Nearly a cuddle. Really, really. What are you doing? Aww. What are you two doing? Hello. Hello. <laughs> guys welcome to welcome to Friday I haven't I'm, I'm not actually gonna bother apologizing anymore I'm not sure what this vlog's gonna have been like but I hope you've enjoyed it however it is um, I'm just kind of gonna vlog when I have something to tell you or when something's happened because I'm really busy at the moment it's half term so I've been working a lot and obviously I've still got exams and stuff so I'm just generally really busy so not sure what's going on with the vlogs but I'm sure you'll find out because you're watching it so I've just been actually back to my school to I'm gonna my angel to do a revision session with um, geology stuff for uh, with my old geology teacher and like his um, year 13s at the moment, and it was really fun. It was really funny actually to be back in school, but anyway, um, yeah. I've just done that and I'm gonna go home and go to work now. Yesterday at work I managed to slice open my, th my thumb on an umbrella. I was trying to like take this umbrella down and the bit on the pole I was trying to pull down and I pulled it down and it's cut like right across the top of my thumb and it's quite deep so I've got a nicely bandaged up thumb. Um, and yeah tonight Hannah and I are going to see Wonder Woman which should be should be fun. I'm not too sure if it's something I'm really gonna be there into but she really wanted to go so I said I'd go with her and I think we're gonna get Wagon Mamas if we have enough time. We've kind of got to go like straight from work so we're just seeing if we've got enough time to go get Wagon Mamas first. Um, otherwise I think we'll have to get a Domino's like afterwards or something because I think by the time it's finished we're not gonna have much time so yeah. Anyway, I've got to go home now, get ready to go to work, take Hannah over to work she's working with me tonight. And then, and then, we're going out. Yes. Good morning, Jessie. Welcome to Saturday. Can you say good morning? No. Sorry, it's really noisy, the kettle's on. I'm just having a coffee. Miss Cafe Zero, as always, I'm not filming my face because I've got a turban on. <laughs> as in like a towel turban for my wet hair. Um, and Jessie's just far cuter than me at all times. Anyway, I've just given her this kebab treat thing. She's just kind of carrying it around. She doesn't really know what to do with it. But um, no, I gave Tilly one as well and Tilly wasn't bothered. So Tilly's has gone back in the cupboard. So let's see what it's called. It's one of these. I got it in Tesco's last night, so. 
You've already had one. But yeah, so I've got those. Also, we've got some of these ones as well, which I got off. Um, no, no, you're not having those. These are from Top Collar Treats. Um, we weren't sure about them at first. This is a second like batch that we've had. We first of all had burger, hamburger, but as you can see, Jesse quite likes steak and chips ones. Um, but yeah, they like them, but they don't love them and they're quite expensive. The first one I think I got was like a trial one for a pound, so I didn't mind, but these are like 5 99 otherwise. Um, but I saw it on Instagram and what, you want one? I've just given you a cup. No, sit. Sit. She's not very easy to train for a dog who loves treats. Quite, don't scratch. You just scratch my legs. Just, right, right, okay. Sit. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sit. I know this is difficult. I can't explain. Are you going to do the other one? Hello, I'm in the shop now. <laughs> right. Down. 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 Good girl. We haven't quite mastered four yet. I'm not doing another one of those because they're quite... They're quite bad for you. I see some of these training treats that we've got. Coaches training treats. Right, sit. Sit. Pull, pull, pull. Never shake, shake, pull. Shake, pull. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't get that one so much. She just tries to jump up. So yeah, I've got my really, really attractive headgear on. And now I need to make my coffee. So I can go and get on with some more work. Bye, Jessie. Don't you just hate it when you get a bit too overly enthusiastic with pouring the hot water in and it goes everywhere? Don't be a creepy Oh my god, the rain's coming in the door! I'm not looking at her. her wind, the wind's catching. Good girl! Good girl! Good girl, Jessie! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Oh, you're so wet! You're so wet! Hello guys, this hair situation. It's currently the 6th of June and it's Tuesday. So that means that it's the night before my statistics exam and two nights before my paleontology exam, which is the only geology exam I'm retaking, the only non-math exam I've got. Um, I've been revising, is it Tuesday? Yeah, it is Tuesday. I haven't worked, I didn't work today and I didn't work yesterday so that I could actually just spend like the entire day revising. And I think it was worth it because I've gotten a lot done. Um, although my pay slip is going to look pretty poor because I've been working like half days nearly every day this week. Like before all the holidays and then the holidays I worked like every day bar Saturdays and I didn't work the Tuesday. So I've worked a lot recently. But yeah, so I just kind of wanted to update you. I don't know what the statuses of these vlogs are. I'm so sorry they're so late. Um... I know I said I was going to not apologise for it, but I was editing a vlog last night and I realised it was from the beginning of April and I was like, oh my god, how did I get so, so behind? So, yeah, I do, I do apologise, but obviously stuff happens. Life's busy. We took the doggies, my nan and I took the doggies for a walk down the beach today and got an ice cream for my revision break. I've done two stats papers, one geology paper. Completely fin like done all the corrections. I know that doesn't sound like much, but um, that would be like three, four, nearly five hours of revision. Although I didn't probably spend like the entire time of the paper doing it, probably including marking it and corrections. I've spent way more than that. So, so yeah, I feel pretty productive. I actually feel quite confident for the stats because I only needed to get a B in it. If I worked out, if I get good A's in call one, two, three, and four, a C in mechanics, I could do fine with a B in stats. But I think I might get an A in stats. I seem to be doing quite well at it recently, so hopefully that'll happen. And that just takes the pressure off everything else a little bit. Not massively, but just a little bit really. Um, so yeah, that'd be quite good. If I can do that. I feel like all of my vlogs, I feel tired. I feel like my energy isn't quite there at the moment, and, um, sorry, mid yawn. um, I just feel like I'm so, like, not, I don't feel, like, I, I don't keep thinking, oh, let's pick up the camera and vlog, because I've got so much else in my mind, and I'm sure most of you also have exams, and so you completely understand, but it's just, like, 
I feel really stressed, but I don't feel anywhere near as stressed as I did on any of my other exams forever. Like, I feel quite prepared for them all. Although I am slightly more worried about my geology one, because it's like the only geology exam I'm taking, so it's like everything rides on this, or as with the maths, it's like, well, if I slip up on this, I've still got three more maths exams, you know? So I don't know. I might go into town, buy some... I don't actually, we might even have some. I was going to make some cookies to take in because I'm going to a revision class at the school tomorrow. So I was going to bring some gluten-free cookies for that, but I don't know. I might go down to co-op and get the ingredients now and just make them tonight instead. Instead of making them for tomorrow, I don't know why I keep yawning. I think it's because I've just sat down and wasn't even tired before. I might go make a coffee, because sometimes when I make a coffee I get like an extra burst of like, energy. So yeah, that's the update for now. Matt's on a field trip um, up in Yorkshire, so he's not around at the moment, which is quite good because it means I've got a lot of revision time. Hannah and I went and saw Wonder Woman, which I think I've told you about, but if I haven't it was amazing. And yeah, I did sort of say. I did say. It was a really good film. And the weather has been so mixed at the moment. Um, also, we're really near the election stuff. I vote by postal vote, so I've already sent off my vote. And I'm not going to, like, tell you who I vote, because I feel like there is so... Everyone's opinion is their opinion, and do some research, and, you know, you'll watch the news, and you'll find out, sort of, what people stand for. But I feel like this year, I hate every single party. And so I've had to do... I've had to vote for one thing that would greatly benefit me but something that, if it happens, would kick my family out of our house because we wouldn't be able to afford one of the new things that someone proposes. So, read into that how you want, but it's like, if they do one thing, it would be really beneficial, but if they do another, we won't be able to live in our house anymore because it will cost us too much, which is just, like, sucks. And I feel like no matter who you voted for, you were going to be you were going to be put in that position, but yeah. I don't really do politics on my channel because I don't feel like I'm informed enough about it. I've done quite a bit of research for this election, but you know, generally. And um, also I don't tend to talk about, I've, men I've mentioned other terrorist attacks, but I don't really feel like I talk about it because I don't really want to, I everyone hears so much about it in, um, the media and stuff which is obviously good like you want to hear about it because it's sad but i feel like i don't really want to talk about it almost i don't know i don't really talk about it on my social media either i don't i don't really know why i just kind of don't want to so i'm not going to mention it i'm not going to talk about it even though i've just talked about it for ages so anyway that's the update and as you can see it's pretty sunny so I will see you guys later. Hello guys, welcome to Wednesday. I have had my exam, it was fine, nothing unexpected. Last question was a bit weird, but like I wasn't that bothered by it because I've given an answer and make a pick up a couple of marks and I feel like everything else was fine so I wasn't like too worried about it. I finished like ridiculously early. First time I did the paper I had 50 minutes left out of an hour and a half paper so it took me 40 minutes to do the entire paper. Which is about what it was taking me on average to do normal papers, but I thought I'd take longer to do it in the exam. I don't really know why, I just felt like I was taking ages. And I finished it and I looked at the clock and I was like, oh. So I basically went back through, I checked all of my calculations, quite a few were actually wrong. I'd either re misread the number, it wasn't like major things, like my methods were fine. Or somehow when I was putting in the calculator I'd put in a wrong number, because like my answers weren't all completely correct for my workings. Oh, this is clearly, I'm clearly working too fast and I need to take more care over it. So, yeah, so I went back and did that. And by the time I'd done that, I still had like half an hour left. And I was like, what am I going to do? So I started kind of, you know, going through things again, checking I'd done everything right. And I did that. And then I still had about 20 minutes left. And I just started like changing answers. And I was like, I don't want to do this. Because quite often when I change answers, when I'm like doing pretend, like pretend, not pretend papers, when I'm doing past papers, I change them and I change them to something wrong. And quite often my initial judgment's right. So kind of stopped myself from doing that because I wasn't sure and I thought right I know it's really annoying when people sit there and don't do anything in the paper but I didn't want to change my answers to make them wrong 
and I start questioning myself and all of that. And anyway, I got home, I've been doing some revision, I made some cookies for my class because I'm actually going back into school later on for just to see my teacher, my geology teacher, because obviously it's geology tomorrow. I got this jumper from, it's from ASOS, but obviously it's from Nike and it's got this really cozy hood. I know it's like the summer now, but it's like not too thick and it's really nice and big and it's got massive pockets, but they're like in the side of it. Um, but I really like it and it's on sale on ASOS currently. I think it was about £36 still, so it's still quite expensive. But actually, I kind of thought Nike wouldn't be like that amazing quality, but it is. Um, I also picked up this Stila Smudge Pot, which um, I've seen a couple of times and I've always sort of wanted. And it's in the shade Kitten, because I just love that shade. And I thought this would be hopefully quite good. It does say gel eyeliner on it, but I thought it would be kind of like a colour tattoo type thing. I'll try and open it and swatch it for you. Um... Where can I put you? You can go here. But yeah, I'm just sort of like marking a paper right now for geology. And then I'm probably going to run the dogs down the road and then head off back to school. Okay, it's not quite as pigmented as I thought. It's quite streaky, actually. I'm quite disappointed in that. I can pick it back up again. I don't know if you can see that. Like, I thought that would be like, touch it and kabam. Not very happy. I don't know whether it's just because it's like the first thing. Sometimes when you like first swatch a product, they don't look as good, but somehow I doubt it. And actually, as I was just talking to you about it, I seemed to have like a flashback of Shanik though saying something about how she loved it too. And then she got the smudge pot and she was really disappointed. So maybe, maybe it was a bad purchase, but I think it was like £13. Um, so kind of like... Uh, Trying to get you set. So like kind of annoying, but not like the end of the world. Okay, now you can't see me. This isn't gonna work. But anyway, I'm gonna get back on with some revision and then I'm gonna head back into school. It's a really sunny day today. So I probably don't need this hoodie on, but I'm obsessed with this like extra big snuggly hood. So I'm gonna wear it. Just decided to take the little doggies out for a little stroll. But um, I've just started using this double lead. Tilly's getting fed up because Jessie wants to run ahead and now this has happened. Come on guys! Guys! What are you doing? Come on! Let's go! They do normally walk quite well. But um it's still a bit of a challenge trying to get them to both walk together and not trip themselves up on this. Because look, she's just pulling her along. Guys, welcome to Thursday! actually the day of the general election today so I hope you all voted I did I put my postal vote in a while ago because I'm too lazy to go down to the polling station sort of I don't even know why I did my parents both do a postal vote and just kind of decided I'd do one so I've just done my geology exam I was super nervous for and um, I actually went into school earlier in the day because my um, old teacher was like look you can come in um, and I'll invite you in like as a, as a that's an appointment thing. So you can come in and do the revision sessions with my current year 13s. And I've been in school all day with them doing revision. And I did the exam and it was okay. It was a little bit weird. If you did the exam, 10 marker, if you were, if you didn't do the exam, but you know what paleontology is sort of bits. 10 markers were on Cerisian dinosaurs, but like specifically the Diplodocus. And it was also on um, the drifting of the British Isles northwards from the Precambrian and looking at the lithology and or lithological evidence and the fossil evidence. I personally don't think I've talked about fossil evidence enough. I think I've probably got like nothing on the fossil evidence, but I did quite a lot on lithological evidence. So I think I should have five marks there, but obviously because it's like two things, I probably won't get I won't get ten marks because I haven't talked enough about both. Um, unless they weigh one more than the other, I, I don't know. But <sighs> I don't know. The rest of the paper was like okay. It's a bit some brachiopods, some crionoids, cephalopods, like nautilus and ammonoids. A little bit on heteromorphs, which I quite like because I do quite like some heteromorphs. I think they're really cool. Um, sorry if you are not interested in geology, but this is my vlog and I am, so I'm going to talk about it. Um, so yeah, weird paper, but they said that the other paper for this year was because there's two papers for like the AE level ones. Um, they said that the other one was really weird as well, so I think it's just. Oh, someone walking past me. I think it's just like that. It just is weird at the moment. When you pretend that you're on the phone to someone to avoid someone thinking that you're really weird. So I'm just waiting for Hannah and her friend in the car park because school 
I don't even know if school's ended yet, actually. I'm not sure what the time is. What time is it? I find it really annoying that I can't wear my Fitbit in exams because obviously like you can get text messages and stuff on it, but then I'm like walking to my exam and I'm like, none of these steps count anymore. And I left my bag really far away from the exam hall. So then I ended up losing like a thousand steps easily. And I've only done like 2000 steps today because I've just not had my Fitbit on or I've been sat revising which sucks and it's kind of like a rainy day so I'll probably get home and won't be able to go out for a walk anyway which is annoying but that's life anyway I've got a week and a day now until my next exam which is mechanics and then the week after that I have core three and core four maths exams so I am probably gonna have the night off might do some editing um i've actually oh i ordered something so exciting last night i ordered the violet voss holy grail palette um one of my friends rachel recommends it a lot and i just kind of wanted to try something new i know it's like an expensive thing to just decide to buy but i've worked quite a lot lately and you know treat yourself that kind of a thing <laughs> my map my map boyfriend my boyfriend's gonna kill me he's gonna be like why are you spending your money not that he's like controlling my money or anything but he wants me to save because he knows i'm so bad at saving so he's not like a control freak don't comment you trolls um but he wants me to like save my money and my parents will be all be like what you doing spending the money but i really wanted to try it and so yeah i'm quite excited to see what it's like is it raining Ugh, it's just starting to rain Hate rain. Grr. Jessie, is that your best friend? Good girl. Good boy, Is that your best friend? Oh. He's like, I hate you. The door is shut, my room is not open for business. He's been in front of the mouse bed a lot of the day. He keeps coming in my room, I'm like, go away. Is he up? Is he up? <laughs> 